Hello Internet! This is a continuation of my definitive HTML tutorial here and what I'm going to do this time is go over all the things I didn't cover in the previous presentation. First off, I'm going to talk about list tags. First off, you can see right here is the code you would actually input into your HTML file and if you did type this exact code in it would create this when a browser loads that HTML file. Exactly. This is called a definition list. And how you create them is to first off use the DL tag. This tells the browser a definition list is coming. Then what you would do is use the DT tag to title what you're going to provide a definition for. And this is the definition itself. You can also create ordered lists as you see right here. If you type this code in, this is what will be displayed by the browser. The only difference is it opens with an OL tag, ordered list, and then you would use LI for each list item. That's what LI stands for. I'm going to create an unordered list, which started off with UL tag, then list item, LI, and then a closing bracket. If you did, you would get this. But in most circumstances, you're going to have a bullet item there instead of this line. Now I'm going to talk about links or anchors or hyperlinks or whatever you want to call them. To create a link or anchor or hyperlink, basically you just type this into your text tool that you're going to save as an HTML file. What this does here is opening bracket, then A tells the browser that an anchor is being created. Then href equals the location that you want to send the user to if they click on your link. And this is what the link would look like right here. Target tells the browser what you want to do in regards to where you want the web page to be open. If you put an underscore blank in the target section, the web page is actually going to open in your current web page and not open a new one. However, if you typed in underscore self, it would actually open up a new web page. And then of course, the new Think Tank website is what will be displayed as your link. That's basically all there is in regards to setting up hyperlinks, except for this neat little tool. If you wanted it to set up a link system that would allow a person to click on the link and jump within the page, mean jump somewhere else into the page, like I referred to this earlier in this web page, they click on it and they jump there, you would simply to find the area you want to jump to with a name instead of H reference and give it a special name. You can see here it's great stuff. Well, if you look down in this link right here, you can see great stuff. So hence, if I click on this link, this is going to jump up here. And it did. Another neat trick you can do in regards to um, links is to set up an easy system so that your users can automatically click on a link and open up their email system to send you a mail message. You go A, hreference, but in this circumstance you're going to put your email address in here and then a question mark followed by subject and this would go in the subject line. And then this would be the text that would be shown to the users. And that's basically everything there is to know about creating links or anchors, whatever you want to call them. Now I'm going to talk about tables. To create a full functioning table that looks like this down here, you would simply copy and paste that this table code into your HTML file. This opening bracket followed by table will tell the browser you want it to display a table. Summary will not be displayed to the user. This is for people may be blind who want a description of what information is in the table. Do not need to do this, but it's kind. Caption, if you put this in here, then there will be a caption at the top of your table. To start a new row within a table, use the tag TR. If you wanted to, to draw attention or create a header within your table, you would use the TH tag. If you did not, then you would use the TD tag, and this just creates an additional column. Of course, you want to close each column, and close each row, and close the table itself. 
And that's basically all there is to know about tables. In the next presentation and final presentation, I will go over everything you would ever want to know about forms. Hope this helps. Please comment below.